teams. Uh, the winner of this will play the winner of Shoyu and Odyssey in top 32. Indeed, and the winner of this will also get entry into the Royal Rumble. I'll let you boy. Let's go to Smashville. Hope you like Fire Emblem, folks. This is a Lucina Crom matchup. Oh, oh, I was about to say that could be a really bad start already. Nice fat 26%. What's a lead? Crom's up be so strong. And this is something I noticed a lot yesterday is that Blink's ledge trapping is incredibly strong, as of course Crom lends to B. Let me see the F tilt there. Oh, and again. Neutral air. And a forward air. Another one. Yeah, still got his jump. Air dodge through. The air speed of Chrome is so good. And it's so beneficial to what is, you know, arguably one of the worst recoveries for a top tier. I mean, hey, training pays off. We see both of these players kind of like swat at each other with, with Fair a little bit here. Indeed. Yeah. And that forward air is going to take the first stock. Folks, if you think that you have familial, familial issues, just think back to the last time you had a sword fight with your dad. But we will say, uh, regardless of that, Lucina Krom, Mr. E and Blank. I'm not even sure about their matchup history necessarily, but I do know Mr. E has been one of the... Uh, he actually missed out on the, uh, oh. on the Zeno. Oh, my goodness. Blank, you know what? <laughs> I don't, I don't even think I need to finish that sentence because Blank, he don't care about what happened at Tri-State Circuit. He's caring about the here and the now and that spot in top 32 from winner's side. Yeah, she's a really good crom. Um, see what she's able to do with this, obviously. And this is going to be the difficult part is just getting back against uh, getting back against Mr. E. We've seen, oh, using the armor there, we've seen you know Lucina be able to really just gimp a lot of these linear recovery characters, your Richters, your Croms, your Incineroars. Uh, so the fact that she's been able to keep this stock going as long as possible each time, but has lost to Mr. E calling out with the fair twice now. Like the air dodge away, but it's gonna cover that. Forward air. Yeah, you know what? All you, all you really need to do, blah, blah, blah. all you need to do with Mr. E. Sometimes my tongue gets over my teeth and I can't see what I'm saying. What can I say? Uh, all, all Mr. E really needs to do is like uh, just throw out those aerials. He's not uh, he's not trusting them nearly enough. And I, I honestly, I feel like that's the key. You're not going to be seeing a whole lot of uh, of the ground game unless it's one of those grounded side beats. Again, like uh, like we saw from Mr. E with that extended uh, with that extended hitbox. Yeah, a lot of falling aerials, a lot of fares and airs from Mr. E, and maybe some falling up airs and some fares as well from Krom. And that is no jump, and that is going to be it. Oh, my. Mr. E will take game number one. So, again, one of New York's finest. Uh, yeah, no, tough break there. Uh, you know, obviously, Lucina's just ability to edge guard Krom so strong, and familiarity with this matchup as well. Uh, a little bit difficult for, uh, you know, Krom to deal with Lucina. Yeah, and uh, and Blank, it's, it, 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 the thing is is that it's not like she didn't have an idea of, uh, of what to do in that matchup. I mean, obviously, she's faced Lucina's plenty of times as we go back to, uh, as we go to town and city, excuse me. Yeah, there's quite a bit of good uh, Lucina play in, you know, pretty much a lot of the pockets of Florida as well. Uh, so it's not something that she's unfamiliar with, but these little B&B combos that Krom has that really look like two or three hits, but then stack up to 60%, it's just like, okay, I have a lead now. Indeed, and that Lucina is going to get right into the face of that Krom. No remorse at all, Mr. E. And uh, I don't think uh, Mr. E, Ooh, oh my. Low back air. You know, whatever I was saying, just forget. Yeah. It's, it's all good. You don't need to hear the end of that sentence. All you need to do is see Blank uh, show I mean, this is some this is some fine crom play that we're seeing from uh, from her. So. Oh, no jump either. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, no. my, no whip punish. Turn Mr. around. E. Wow, talk about turning garbage into gold. Mr. E will take the first stock of that. Uh, That's tough, too, because like oh now my. you're just like, what happens? If this ends up being a 2 what happens if he makes this back? You know, you look back at specific moments like this as those page turners in matchups, but, man, Blank still with a pretty good lead. Not, you know, obviously still ahead right now, but she's got to be kicking herself a little bit after just whiffing that up smash. Up smash alone probably would have covered either side, too. Gosh. And now he's starting to bring this back a little bit more, too. Already 70%. Good downer out of shield there. Something as simple as an F-tilt should be enough to close this out for Blank, though. 
as the platforms reappear. It's not an Omega anymore, and indeed, Blank going down, uh, taking Mr. Rhea to final stock. Now, what's improved here in terms of, uh, is it the game plan, is it the execution? I mean, give us your thoughts. It's the initial combos, I feel like. She's able to get this early percent, and, you know, like I said, Krom builds so much damage so fast, but walks into an F smash. Now only 48% separating these two players. But, you know, it's the falling up airs, it's the F tilts, the down throws at zero, you know. Krom's able to do a lot with a little. Oh my oh god, my. the jab F smash! Jab, jab, you're not denying this, see you later. <laughs> Unbelievable. And now Blank, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. She's like, all right, that was dumb. She, <laughs> yeah. she, I'm literally, we'll talk to her later, and she's like, that was so dumb. That shouldn't have worked. Hey, you know what? It's only dumb if it doesn't. Yeah. So if I it, think it, I think she's. It's, it's the more scale, okay right? It's either man that didn't work, that was dumb, or oh, that worked. I'm a genius. <laughs> exactly. But you know what? That's the sort of perfectionism that's required to like. It's the it's what's required to transcend beyond solid Smash player sure. and into the realm of champion. And Blank at least recognizing that she ain't no slouch on the sticks, but uh, definitely realizing that uh, that could have been punished. And she uh, she got away with with a little bit there. Mr. E perhaps not uh, not fully uh, not fully woke to the situation, but yeah, possibly. I mean, it's one of the things you can't take anybody for granted in this game either. Uh, Blank a really really strong chic main from Smash Four uh, with wins over a tweak and really strong showing in her region throughout when she was still uh, South Florida time now Central Florida attending UCF. Uh, you know, this is something that she's planned for. She came up to let's make. I'm trying to was it Frostbite that she did well at? There's a major tournament recently. She did pre, she did pretty strong showing. Uh, we'll see how this goes, and you're gonna see a lot of those initial trades with those quick fares from other player. It was farther north than it was cold. That's what we know. Yeah, yeah. So, Mr. E. Looking to make some moves here on Town and City, and specifically moving on to top 32. And that Lucina. That high air dodge was really risky, but she kind of got away with it there. Uh, sitting at 105%, this is a dream start for Mr. E, who all of a sudden, I mean, the game plan was always there. It's just the execution may not have been in that game number two. And just like that, the back air going to put Krom into disadvantage. And another no one. Jump. Or, excuse me, did have a jump. If he gets a forward air at the, at the edge, he does it. And indeed, Perfect. that's going to be a back air. That's a zero to death. Catch Perfect. a body, Mr. E. Perfect stock, too, and a long zero to death, too. Full 45 seconds on that. But big start here for Blank on this second stock, though. And that's going to be really tough to really make back this, you know, really like, huge gap at this point, too. I would, uh, I'd be inclined to agree. However, this isn't nothing that we've, uh, that we haven't seen from Mr. E before. He has shown oh, this kind of persistence. Oh, beautiful, beautiful play there. It's not like we haven't seen this uh, against people like Shoyo James, in fact. And uh, just or a couple wishes weeks just now. Yeah, or wishes just now. You're absolutely right. But uh, more specifically with the Krom matchup at the Forge. But you're absolutely right. We can't just disregard wishes, man. He is in top 32, and he's going to be a force with which to be reckoned. These uh, these two fine competitors vying for a spot to join uh, the jersey number three, as oh. was revealed on the new PR. I will say, though, only 71%, not a 82 now. It's starting to get a little bit more, but this is not a terrible situation, too. Blank's got to find a way to close out the stock, though. Because Crown, Crown could get these initial combos and do a ton of damage, but it feels like Mr. E's just been in complete control this, this game three. It's going be enough right. there. 109, you know. So now Mr. E with that oh. back air. And the Dolphin Slash to put him in the disadvantage. I mean, Mr. E, holy smokes, man. He is uh, on a roll in the back air again. Yeah. I mean, this is Blank charging in like a bull. Mr. E playing Matador. See so what able to do now. Down a full stock in this game three. Like I said, Mr. E's just looking incredibly confident this entire game. And again, these uh, these up airs, Lucina's aerials are so darn good. It's so I mean, how do you even uh, how do you even deal with this? And I mean, even with as airspeed as good as Crom's, you're seeing Blank having a tough time with this. Yeah, she. I mean, Mr. E's just guessed right every time in these neutral interactions, and it's really starting to show now. Like, well, you look at this gap that's already been widened further and further. See the landing down there, there, like every, like even like the more riskier things are just working out for him right now. Mr. E gets so into the game. Oh, that's it. Gesticulation. Yeah. I mean, gesticulation is uh, part of his gameplay as much as the movement on the sticks. 
And as a, I guess I'm guessing the E stands for expressive, but I'll tell you what, it also stands for elite. He moves on to top 32.